Strategy Management Series. Video number 66 Strategy Formulation. Step 6 Strategy Selection Generic Acquisition Strategies. Welcome back to the Ready MBA series on Strategy Management. In our previous videos, we introduced Strategy Selection, the sixth step in the strategy formulation process. This step consists of identifying and selecting courses of action that a company may choose to achieve its strategic intent, mission, vision, and objectives. In our last few episodes, we have been talking about generic strategies, which are fundamental approaches that businesses can adopt to gain a competitive advantage and position themselves effectively within their industry or market. These generic strategies help businesses make strategic decisions about how they will compete in the market, allocate resources, and differentiate themselves from competitors. In this video, we'll explore another set of generic strategies known as acquisition strategies. These are key techniques for companies looking to grow and evolve. There are four types of generic acquisition strategies and we will talk about each one of them in more detail vertical, horizontal, congeneric and conglomerate acquisitions. Although there are similarities between acquisition generic strategies and integration generic strategies, which were discussed in a previous episode, it is important to highlight the differences between them. Integration strategies primarily focus on combining two companies to create a unified organization that is more efficient and effective. This means functional integration, process integration, cultural integration. Acquisition strategies, on the other hand, involve the purchase of external businesses, resulting in a change of ownership and control. These companies may continue to run and be managed separately, under the same parent. Integration strategies are internally oriented, while acquisition strategies are externally oriented and aim to expand or diversify a company's portfolio. These strategies serve distinct purposes in strategic management. Let's kick off our discussion about acquisition strategies. First up, we have vertical acquisitions. Imagine a company acquiring another company in the same industry but at a different stage of the supply chain. An example is an electronics manufacturer buying a semiconductor company. Vertical acquisitions are great when you want to strengthen your control over your supply chain or distribution channels. Companies and industries with tight control over key resources, like Apple with its microchips, often use this strategy. It can lead to cost savings, improved efficiency, and reduced dependency on external suppliers. Vertical acquisitions, which involve merging with or acquiring entities at different stages of the supply chain, offer advantages like supplier distribution chain control, cost savings, economies of scale, gains of efficiency, and quality assurance. However, they also come with drawbacks, including high initial investment, operational complexities, and potential regulatory scrutiny. They can also lead to supplier or distributor dependence, as the company may become dependent on its integrated suppliers or distributors, potentially limiting flexibility and increasing risk. Two tactics for success in vertical acquisitions are seamless integration and careful negotiation with suppliers or distributors. These ensure a smooth transition and maintain good relationships. Next, we have horizontal acquisitions. This is when a company acquires or merges with a competitor in the same industry, like when two retail giants join forces. Horizontal acquisitions are perfect for expanding your market share and eliminating competition. You'll often see this strategy in crowded markets, like the merger of Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot to form Stellantis. Horizontal acquisitions can increase market power as it can expand a company's market share and influence within the same industry, allowing for better pricing control and competitive advantages. They also offer advantages such as cost savings through economies of scale. Additionally, they can enable synergies, improving operational efficiency, reducing duplication, and potentially increasing profitability, and reduced competition. However, they also present challenges, such as antitrust concerns, integration complexities, potential loss of innovation, as fewer competitors may result in reduced motivation to develop new products or services, and high acquisition costs. 
Key tactics here are post-merger integration and maintaining a competitive edge. Merging operations, cultures, and resources is a challenge, and staying ahead of the competition is essential. Now, let's talk about congeneric acquisitions. These happen when a company acquires another company in a related, but not identical, industry. For example, a sportswear brand acquiring a fitness app. Congeneric acquisitions help you diversify your business without straying too far from your core competencies. When Nike bought the fitness app RunKeeper, they expanded their digital presence without leaving their sportswear roots. Congeneric acquisitions, which involve diversifying into related industries, offer benefits like risk mitigation by spreading exposure across various sectors related to its core business. This reduces risk while leveraging existing expertise and core competencies from one industry to create competitive advantages in another. Congeneric acquisitions also create opportunities for synergy between the core business and the acquired entities, potentially improving efficiency and profitability. However, they also come with challenges, including complex integration, potential resource diversion from the core business, competitive intensity, and uncertainties regarding the effective utilization of core competencies in the new industry. Entering related industries may involve heightened competition and require efforts to differentiate and establish a presence. Additionally, companies may not be able to effectively leverage their core competencies in the new industry, reducing their overall competitiveness. Tactics here include leveraging synergies between industries and leveraging your brand recognition. Making the most of the related industries and your strong brand can boost your success. Lastly, we have conglomerate acquisitions. This is when a company acquires a business in a completely unrelated industry. Think General Electric, a company that started with electricity and diversified into healthcare, aviation, and finance. Conglomerate acquisitions are all about reducing risk through diversification. When economic downturns hit one sector, success in another can offset the losses. Conglomerate acquisition strategies provide benefits such as risk diversification, access to new revenue streams, innovation opportunities, and enhanced brand recognition. Companies can access entirely new revenue streams by entering unrelated industries, potentially increasing overall financial performance. Cross-industry diversification can lead to the development of innovative solutions and products, providing a competitive edge, and companies can benefit from the recognition and reputation of their diverse subsidiaries, further strengthening their market position. However, they also pose challenges, including complex management, potential loss of focus, integration difficulties, and the risk of poor performance in some businesses. Managing a diverse set of businesses with distinct operational requirements can be complex and demanding, requiring effective coordination and oversight. Additionally, diversification may lead to a lack of focus on core competencies, diverting resources and attention from the primary business. Integrating businesses in unrelated industries can be challenging due to differences in culture, operations, and management practices. Key tactics include efficient resource allocation and maintaining the autonomy of acquired businesses. Efficiently managing diverse operations and allowing each business unit to thrive is essential. Acquisition strategies limitations. It's not all smooth sailing. Acquisition strategies come with limitations. You may face integration challenges, legal and regulatory hurdles, and resistance from employees. Sometimes, you may have to deal with culture clashes or even experience financial setbacks. Pay attention to cultural fit when acquiring companies. A strong culture fit can make post-acquisition integration smoother. Moreover, always consider the financial health of your acquisition target. If they have hidden financial issues, it could drag your business down. That's a wrap on our discussion of acquisition strategies in the strategy selection step. These are powerful tools for growing and evolving your business. Remember, the key to success is strategic planning, careful execution, and attention to the unique challenges and opportunities each strategy presents. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next episode where we'll explore more aspects of strategic management. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Until next time, stay strategic.